So everyone, if you are of low, low level fitness or you're a complete starter, we can do it on the chair. Every exercise can be replicated just by doing this. So if you're sat on the chair, you're doing chair-based exercise, if you're unsure at any time, you could just literally do your marching out like so. All right? I'm gonna do my little standing, but at any point you're not sure what to do, just do this the whole time. So everyone, what we're gonna do is just start off with some arm swings under and over, which can be done standing up or sat in the chair. Make sure you really open up that chest. Get the body moving. So people nowadays, they say they're really, really stiff and achy. Well, a lot of the reason why that is because we're just not moving our bodies out, it should be moved. We want to make sure that we get a nice stretch, we really get our body moving. Then from there, we're going to move our arms up and down. So we're going to do big arms up and down. Good, and then if you've got a window seal or you've got a mantelpiece, we're going to go for our shoulder stretch, which I would recommend you every single day. So keep those arms really, really straight. And all you're going to do is you're going to lean down and get that nice stretch in the chest. Now, if you're going to improve mobility on this, what I would say is you want to aim to do this for a good 30 seconds to a minute and try and do it three times a day. What it's going to really do is open up your shoulders. So if you can't get your hand above your head anymore, you'll find that really, really challenging. This is the structure you need to be doing. And you need to be trying to breathe, relax into it. It should be painful. And get a bit deeper into that stretch each time. That is amazing for opening up your shoulders and your chest. So make sure you do that every single day. Aim to do it three times a day. It makes a big difference, all right? Let's start with rotations because normally our torso gets a bit tight. So we're going to start with some hip circles. Give all those creaks and those cracks. And if we go gone one way, we need to go the other way. So we need to flow around the other direction. Good. And then from there, we're just going to move our body and we're just going to move. There we are. Now, go for some steps or some lunges, depending on how you feel. Remember, listen to your body. Lunges may be too much for you, so just do steps. Always make sure there's something to hold on to, but your step could just be like that, and like so. If you're feeling confident, you can then go down lower, and you can go right down, and then back up. But it's completely your choice on how far you go down. There we go, and then use the balance if you need to. You're gonna go for a bum kickers, or get some rhythm up, and really kick yourself in the behind. Remember, the lunges you won't be able to do in the chair, this you won't be able to do in the chair, so just do your marching out with your feet. If you're ever in the chair and you're really unsure of what to do, and you're looking at it thinking, how can I do that in the chair? Don't do that, just do your marching out with your feet. Right, let's 
go for a nice march on the spot, or if you're feeling a bit fitter, you're more than welcome to break it into a light jog, depending on how you feel. We get these biceps going, warm those arms up. Arms up to the side. A little bit of pushing and pulling. Raise the roof like we're in the disco again. God, I've been in the disco for a long time. And then last little bit. You can just march, you don't need to jog, you can keep marching. Three, two, one, and we'll relax there. Now, the workout today is gonna be sit to stand. So you could just squat if you want to. I'm gonna do three variations of each exercise. So if you're chair based, you can hold on something, you're gonna push yourself up, you're gonna do your sit to stands. If that's too easy, you could just do your sit to stands without a chair behind you, out in front, the lower you go down, the harder it's gonna be. That's still too easy. Hold on to dumbbells, either in front of you or by the side, and that'll make it more challenging. That's exercise number one. Exercise number two is gonna be your press-ups, which is gonna be with a tap. So you're gonna come up, tap your shoulder, come up, tap your shoulder. All right, so basically what you're gonna do is when you do your press-up, you tap, do another press-up and tap. That can be done on a window seal, so I've got a window seal just here, and I'm gonna go for it, and I'm gonna come up and tap my shoulder each time. When this is going to be harder, a bit lower down. If you're really feeling strong, you can then use a coffee table or a table. But remember, don't force yourself too much. If you're in the chair, just do your pushing and pulling. All right? That's exercise number two. Exercise number three. What we're doing then is our single arm rows. You've got options. If you're in the chair, you can do a kneel like this. And then halfway, we're going to change sides. Or being in the chair, and you don't want to get out, you can do number one, which is like so. And then to finish off with, we have got alternate shoulder presses. So we're going to stand up and we're going to march up on the spot, punching up in the ceiling. You can do that seat as well, level one being marching like so. We're going to do a minute of each exercise. We'll do four rounds of that bad boy and see how we get on. So, your first exercise. I'm going to stick with this sit stand. Remember, you can do squats, we'll make it more challenging, or have weights. We're going to do each exercise for a minute. So, in three, two, one, let's get started. Just remember, sit down, and you can stand up. Remember, we're always trying to get a good 30 minute workout in each day if we can. The recommended guidance is five workouts. 30 minutes each time, and that is 30 minutes of pulse raising exercise. So what we're doing now, we're doing big movements, we're getting the body going, and the idea is we're getting the ticker going, the lungs going, and that's gonna really improve our fitness. But we don't just wanna do our 30 minutes, we wanna make sure we're doing our steps outside as well, that's really, really important. There we go, good. Right, and next exercise is going to be our press ups with our shoulder taps. Three, two, one, and we're off. Remember, we come up, we tap. We come up, and we tap. If you find the mountain piece too easy, that means you then need to move on to the window seal instead. Whatever you're doing this against, make sure it's nice and sturdy and secure. The last thing you want to do is push on something and it slides out from underneath you and you end up face down hurting yourself. If you want to make it a little bit more challenging, you can speed up the exercise. You can bring your feet out a bit further away. But remember again, you need to make sure the floor's not slippy. The last thing you want to do is slip over and hurt yourself. Good. 
now we've got our single arm ropes, remember. We could do this by putting bicep curls in the chair or we could just do it knee low over the chair. So in three, two, one. One knee on the chair, the same hand, down, back nice and straight, and we're gonna row the arms. What we don't wanna do, we don't wanna arch the back, okay? We wanna keep the back nice and straight. Imagine a tabletop position. And like I said, the weight might feel too light here, so if you've got anything a little bit heavier, you know, um, a tin of paint, however, make sure the lid's on it properly. You just have something that's a bit heavier to hold on to, okay? Maybe even you've got a rucksack and you put some heavier weights in your rucksack, or heavy objects in your rucksack, just for this exercise, because you're quite strong at doing back exercises. Let's change sides. Remember, same knee, same hand, and row up and down. Good. And then we're going to grab hold of both sets of weights or both sets of dumbbells. And we'll do our alternate shoulder presses. Three, two, one, and let's go. Remember, we can do this seated in the chair. We don't have to be standing up doing this. So while we're doing things as time rather than um, reps, I like doing things as time because it means the fitter people can really push themselves to go really fast like so. Medium people can still get a great workout and the complete beginners can always get a workout because you don't need to work out for the full minute if you don't want to. You can just do 30 seconds and you have a little breather. But it means everyone gets a great workout. Sometimes if you do it by reps, the people that are fitter don't get as much of a workout. And also the people that are maybe just starting to exercise, it's a little bit too hard for them. So we're doing it by time. You can all keep up doing the same workout and you don't feel like you're struggling. It's your choice. You can either sit in the chair, you can have a drink break. This is round one. Or you can march on the spot like I am now. If you want to take it a little bit faster, you can jog on the spot for the minute to keep that heart rate up. It is a little bit hot today, so what I would say is make sure you drink plenty of water. You don't push yourself too hard if you feel unwell at any point and feel dizzy, lightheaded. Take your seat down, grab yourself a breather. Normally, most people feel very faint because they haven't drunk enough water. So Make sure we are sweating a lot more. We're sweating at night, you know, without knowing about it. And the first thing you drink is a cup of tea or coffee to drink, dehydrate yourself even more. Get some water in your body first thing. It will pay dividends, okay? First thing in the morning, what I normally do is I normally have half a lemon and a pint of water, squeeze it in a pint of water, and a little bit of Himalayan rock salt. Only a little bit, because the salt helps keep hold of that water, all right? Rehydrates you, replace all those lost vitamins and minerals. Right, back in again. So, we do our sit to stands or our squats in three, two, one, and let's go. Yeah, so, get you started the right way. If you're then gonna say what the perfect day was, I'd then recommend to go outside and get some fresh air. Just out in your garden, I'm not recommending walking around the road, just say out in your garden, and get some actual sunlight on your body, and ideally as much sunlight as possible on your body. So if you've got a private garden, have your top off, because the sunlight is amazing for vitamin D, and the vitamin D helps to keep you energized, all right? Helps to improve your mood as well. So a massive, massive thing, vitamin D. We get it naturally from sunlight. If there's no sun, then we can supplement with vitamin D, but rest there. Press up, so I keep talking about vitamin D. Three, two, one, and let's go. Yeah, we can get it through uh, sunlight, which is natural. So first thing in the morning when you get up, have some water, and then if you can, step outside of your garden and get a bit of sunlight on your body for 10 to 15 minutes. And then after that, you have your shower, get yourself ready, and then put your sun cream on. But if you're gonna go up first thing in the morning, don't put any sun cream on because the problem with sun cream is 
your body won't actually absorb that vitamin D. It's a protective barrier. So during the day, sun cream, 100%. I don't want anyone to get any skin conditions. But first thing in the morning, no sun cream, vitamin D, 10 to 15 minutes will make you feel on top of the world. Good. Let's go to our single arm rows. Remember, same knee, same hand. Three, two, one. And we're off. When we're breathing, make it nice and controlled, nice and relaxed. Halfway, we're going to change sides. So like I said in the first round, for me, this weight's not enough for my back to work. So if you're like me, next time, get yourself a very strong bag and then put some heavier objects in there and you can pull that up. That will give you a really good workout in your back muscles. Spot on, perfect. Right, let's grab both weights. And then what we're gonna go for is our alternate shoulder presses. So in three, two, one, and we're off. Good. There we go, that's round two complete. Let's go back to march on the spot. Keeping that body moving, keeping the arms going. So I, um, a few people asked me about if they can't leave the house at the moment, what can they do in terms of steps? What we're doing now, stepping indoors. There is no need for you to go outside if you're not allowed to go outside. So if you've been told to self-isolate, completely understand, and you can step inside, all right? You can literally watch your favorite TV program, like so, and you can just march on a step and get all your steps that you need to do, okay? You are literally walking, okay? Now, if you're allowed to go outside, great. Get some fresh air, go outside. If you're not allowed to go outside, then if you've got a garden, I recommend either walking around your garden, if it's like a big garden. If it's only a small garden, say all you've got is just a bit of decking, something like that, just march on a spot. But it's nice to do it outside because you get some fresh air. If you're stuck to inside and you haven't got a garden or a porch or anything, literally inside, March to the spot, getting your arms and your hands going. That is a great workout. Do it for your 30 minute favorite program. You'll get loads of steps in, you'll feel so much better for it. Let's go through round three. So, sit to stand. Three, two, one, and we're off.
Good. Right, let's go for our press ups. And let's go. If you don't feel confident taking your hand off and touch your shoulder, don't panic. You can literally just do your normal press ups. This is a variation of what we normally do. If you find after 20 seconds it's too much, you can stop at 20 seconds and just go back to your march on the spot. From there, we're going to our single arm rows. And in three, two, one, we're off. Good, let's change sides. There we go. And our last exercise, complete round three, is going to be our turn, alternate shoulder presses. Let's go, one at a time, perfect. Up and down. mobility in your shoulders. So I'd highly recommend to make sure you do that shoulder stretch we did in the warm-up. Really open up the shoulders, makes a big, big difference. There we go. Round three complete. So if you're feeling fit, you're feeling strong, keep that march, that jog going. If you feel like you need a bit of a breather, you're more welcome to sit down and do your step ups instead. We've got one more round left after this. So, at any point you feel a bit dizzy, grab some water. Always recommend have regular water breaks. Remember, the 30 minutes what we're building up to, you don't have to do 30 minutes. If you found three rounds were enough today, that's absolutely fine. A quick stand. It is hot, so do look after yourself, be careful. Right, we've got 20 more seconds left, so get yourself ready. We're going to do our sit stands, start on round four, go for the exercises, then a nice little stretch off, and you're done for the day. You can enjoy this amazing weather, get out in the garden, get your Alan Titchmarsh on, do a bit of the old gardening. Right, three, two, one, and we are off.
There we go. Right, press up, shoulder taps. Three, two, one, and we're in. There we go, single arm rows. Let's go with the old round three. Make sure that you keep your hips nice and level. What you don't want is one hip twisted slightly, your back nice and straight. And we're going to change sides. Nearly there, everyone. You're doing really great back home. Make sure you keep rolling those arms up and down. Put your favourite tunes on in the background. Good. Right. Last exercise to finish it off. Alternate arm and shoulder raises. We're good to go. And let's go. Here everyone, keep pumping those arms. You can speed up a little bit if you want to. And that was your last one. Right, we've got a minute left of marching, or a minute left of jogging, depending on how you feel. Keep the pace up if you can. Keep those arms going a bit. Nice big deep breaths. Speed up if you want to last a little bit. We've got 20 seconds, you can break into like jog if you want to. See how you feel. And three, two, one. Grab a drink, keep marching on the spot if you want to, or if you need to sit down and a little rest, that's absolutely fine. But if you want to go for me, what we're going to do is do a nice little cool down. So we're going to start with the ankles today. We're just going to start with some circular motion for the ankles. We're just going to do some nice circles.
And then from there, we're going to change ankles. And then we have what's called a calf stretch. So you need the wall or the mantelpiece, one leg in front of the other, bend that front knee, keep that back leg nice and straight. And all you're trying to do is get a calf stretch. So you're trying to get a stretch in the back of this leg here. We're gonna change legs. We're going to do some bum kickers just to loosen those thighs off after we've got them working. So remember everyone, if you found this workout a little bit too easy, then what you need to do is you need to pick the pace up on the exercises. So move a little bit faster, do the slightly challenging exercise, but always, always work within your level of ability. If you're not feeling under percent one day, then still do a little bit, but don't push yourself too hard, okay? Always listen to your body. We'll go for our back of the thigh stretch. One leg in front of the other, keep the front leg nice and straight, get a nice stretch in the back of the thigh, you can lift the toe if you want to. When you're ready, we're going to change legs. And then we're going to go for front of thigh stretch. So remember, if you've got the chair, you place it on the chair and do hip stretch. If not, hand here and flip your foot up. Change legs. And let's have a nice little march and spot. Take some nice shoulders backwards, everyone. Loosen those shoulders off. Then we go for some forward circles. Let's go to back stretch for a nice big reach forward. I'm going to take it to a chest stretch. Take the right arm across the body, taking a shoulder stretch. And change arms. And then from there, we're going to finish off with a nice big deep breath in. We're going to reach up to the ceiling. Nice big deep breath out. Nice big deep breath in. Nice big deep breath out. Last one. And a nice big deep breath out. Give yourself a round of applause.